So Amber, we're halfway into your first season at Lewis. How have you found your time at the club so far? Yeah, amazing. Um, I know everyone would probably say that, uh, but it is the truth. And that's what the fans want to hear, but it is the truth. Um, it's just such a good club to be at. Um, that's on the pitch, off the pitch, kind of like behind the scenes, the stuff that the club does um, in the community. It's just, it really feels like home to me. I suppose you touched a little bit on it there, but then what was the appeal for you to come to Lewis and how did the move actually happen? The club's values speak for themselves and that was the biggest draw and being at a place that I want to be at um, for longer than one season, which was my track record in the championship. <laughs> um, but yeah, settle down at a place and kind of enjoy the, what would you say, later stages of my career. Um, but yeah, it's the biggest draw was the values and since I've like, step foot in the place you can just see it day in day out it, it really does exist and they do live to them and obviously you know you say about the values is that kind of why that took you on to your your part-time role with the club as ownerships officer as well yeah definitely um i was working full-time in london beforehand but then i knew if i wanted to uh, step away from that role kind of I, i'm a person that still wants to work on a career off the pitch and being part of a club more than just a player kind of suits me and also especially something like the ownership programme where it is kind of we get to interact with the owners, put things on for the owners and, and help the support that the club gets through that, it, it's spot on. And you've obviously been involved in a number of different charities as well throughout your career and we've touched on a few of them in your time at Lewis. Uh, how important are they to you in terms of your values off the pitch as well? Yeah, massive. I am someone that stands by my values exactly why I kind of match with Lewis, but the work that I do off the pitch is what keeps me going. Um, like the mental health charity, obviously I've had my own experience, which I've shared that story, and now I'm through it and obviously still live with it, but like um, work on it. My passion is now helping other people. Um, and the, the other one, like we had the day for the mental health t-shirts um, for the game, which was really nice. And then in January against Palace, we had the um, Momentum Children's Charity, which is um, unfortunately for families where their kids have been diagnosed with illness and stuff I'm a sports buddy to them and it's just it's my favourite things I do is just to kind of help those other people and uh, you're one of the more senior players in the squad shall we say um, it is a very young squad um, how do you feel that your experience can help those younger players um, so I wouldn't have thought anything of that until probably this season or last season was the first time I thought oh I'm probably on the end the end of the age spectrum here but yeah I'm the oldest at Lewis which is mad to me because um, I'm still very young like at heart I know I'm not really old but like I'm probably one of the um, most mess around jokey kind of ones and someone called me grandma the other day crafty did and I said I'm not a grandma I'm too young at heart for that and she was like yeah that's true but kind of the club like the staff the players have kind of made a point of it like no you are an older and experienced player like we can learn from you and like I said I wouldn't have thought anything of that I wouldn't have thought of being like the influence um, but I think my experiences and um, kind of I'm someone that puts 100% in I think that will show and I think younger people I had really good role models when I stepped up to the WSL um, but Helen Ward was one still my good friend and she helped me through that learning stage of what professional football is and I feel now that I can help the other girls with that. And how have you found that experience of, uh, of having that at the club so far? Yeah, what being the older one in yeah. the young ones. Um, honestly, I like it. Like like I said, my favourite thing is to help people, whether that's on the pitch, off the pitch, charities, or, or just normal day life. So I like it, I enjoy it. Um, and yeah, it's just, it is kind of summing up, I guess, my career. And I'm like realising, okay, I have been playing in this league for a while. Okay, I have um, years of experience, which I didn't really think of. Um, but yeah, I enjoy it. And I like being that one that they can go to if they have anything. They need to talk about or questions, but also sometimes I will kind of turn around and be like, yeah, this isn't good enough, you know, like, but um, I say good. Got some good feedback from the girls before Christmas, so I'm enjoying it. And you joked about sort of spending only a season at certain clubs, you know, what what, what is your kind of ambitions for the future with Lewis? Yeah, that's the thing. My ambitions is to have a future at Lewis. Um, and to be fair, the one year at each club is because of the sustainability behind the programmes and the schedule changes and all that sort of stuff where we know that that's, Lew that's something Lewis have been working on for ages so it makes it easier and smoother like I have been at quite a few clubs I did really like my time there but 
you know, one year they'll go, right, we're part-time, now we're full-time. Okay, now we're training four days, not three in the evening. So when you have a full-time job, you can't make that shift around. But this is like, I've come to Lewis and everything's clicked. Like the schedule, obviously next year I'm flexible because I work for the club and I play for the club. So it's not checking with another job, but morals, values, style of play, everything, people, it's just spot on. So hopefully I will have a longer future at Lewis. Thank you very much and best of luck for the second half of the season. No problem, thank you.